Hey there, I'm Jeff. You might know me from my beer reviews, but what you might not know about me is that I have an herb garden in my backyard. I've been growing herbs for a decade or more. Got that from my mother who died about four years ago this week. And uh, it's just something that I really enjoy growing herbs. And this year though, I'm very pleased at the way they've been looking. They've been growing strong, they're blooming right now. And I want to just show it off to everyone because I'm just, this just seems like a very good year for herbs. Now I don't really have a green thumb. In fact, you don't really need to have a green thumb to have an herb garden. Herbs pretty much can't be killed unless you dump acid or something on them. Although some of them you have to plant every year, but some of them just keep coming back and coming back and expanding. So take a look at how things are looking right now. I mean, take a look at this chive right now. I mean, look at the size of this stuff. This is garlic chive. It's got these big purple flowers, keeping the bees very happy this year. So there may be some garlic flavored honey coming out of my backyard this year. Uh, I mean, these are like two feet tall or more. And next to it is the oregano. This oregano was something that was given to me by a friend of mine two or three years ago, actually about three years ago. And you can tell here, I, it was only about, if you look at my hand, it was really only about this much when I first started growing it, like that much. But look how much it is, has expanded uh, in that time. I'm pretty impressed. I'm looking to dry these out and to put it into some chili here pretty soon. The rosemary just seems to be a little slow to kind of catch on this year. It's probably my weakest uh, plant this year, but it's still doing well. The color looks good. Rosemary sometimes takes a little longer to, you know, mature and whatnot. So I'm, I still have high hopes for this rosemary. Back here is, this is my sage. Now this sage I also planted maybe two or three years ago. It was only about half the size of what it is now. And I love to take entire leaves of sage, put them on my meat meals and put them in the barbecue or whatever. And just adds a really nice flavor. To the right, see how tall this is? This here is the tarragon that's stuffed in right there next to the sage. And um, I mean, some of these sprigs are a good two and a half feet tall. I love to take a, a full sprig of this stuff. You know, one of these, just one, and I will uh, stick it inside the cavity of a roast chicken when I'm doing a roast chicken. And this also is something I, I love to keep during throughout the year into the winter and so on. And all those white flowers and this big uh, clump of plant is my thyme, my German thyme. You can actually eat the white flowers, you can eat the leaves. I put thyme in just about everything, particularly in my vegetable meals. This thyme is another thing that just grew and grew and grew and grew. And I don't think, <laughs> I mean, I have to clean it out because it's so much thyme going on right now. But uh, this stuff is very flavorful and I'm very happy with my thyme, I will say. This is another plant I just did maybe two or three weeks ago. It was my basil and it was about a quarter of the size smaller than what you're seeing here now so it's done well i'm pretty happy with the way the basil's coming out so i'll be anxious to try that um, during the course of the summer and into the fall so that is my herb garden thanks for watching